All right, all right, ladies, and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're starting a little bit early today because we might have to end a little bit early today, but let's go see if we can rescue Phineas. You're about to end assault the Labyrinth on Tartarus and determine the fate of Halcyon. Saves must. Uh, after this point can only finish the main story on Tartarus side quests and other downloadable content such as Apparel on Gorgon or Murder at when did that come out? huh I've, I've never heard of that one before I, I guess that might be the next one because it's not in the in the store will be unavailable for any saves beyond that point. Okay. So, if there's anything to do before you enter the prison, do it now before you cross the point of no return. Okay, well, let's actually, let's save. Because that is new. And if there's a DLC coming out sometime soon, we want to uh, do that. Oh, it already gave me the option. I am pleased to inform you that we have arrived at the labyrinth. Please be advised that the punishment for trespassing is execution. I understand. Please be advised that electrical storms on the surface of Tartarus make departure impossible at this time. Uh, know anything useful about Tartarus? Resident count is as follows. 3,071. Resident deaths, including but not limited to executions, are as follows. 1,684. Resident escapes are as follows. Zero. Okay. The interior can be chilly. Take a scarf with you, Captain. A scarf. I would also ask that you leave your Captain's ID with me in the event that you do not return. Nice try, but not happening. Uh, you promise not to leave without me. Understood. If you die or are incarcerated for life, I can generate a new ID for the next captain. I would prefer if you return, though. Oh, speak of the devil. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from the prison's docking authority now. Attention, unauthorized spacecraft. This is a maximum security installation. Your presence here is an explicit violation of UDL corporate policy. You are hereby confined to your docking platform until a ticket detailing your crimes has been filed and notarized, at which point your vessel will be seized and you will be executed. Jesus. How long will that take? Uh, well, if all, all of all the places to get arrested. What the hell is your problem with you people and landing violations? Wait, this isn't Terra 2. My mistake. I'll just leave. I wager it'll take a bit longer than it takes you to lose your patience and storm out of your ship looking to get shot. To be honest, that'd make my job a lot easier. You come out, we shoot you full of holes, and then everyone goes about their day worry-free. Except you. You'll be dead. Mm-hmm, sure. Uh, you hallhead, you... <laughs> hmm. Hey, how, uh, how do I know you're a real officer? Under that helmet, show me your biometric ID. All right. I'm feeling generous. I'm transmitting the ID of a productive, law-abiding employee so you can see what one looks like before you die. Anyway, Tartarus Docking Authority signing up. Hang on. Another ship just pulled into your dock. Wait, is that from the Groundbreaker? What the? Pay no mind to that. Just have a pleasant day. Transmission terminated. Biometric ID received. Transferring data to external cartridge. How can I be of assistance? Uh... Oh, nothing else. I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Alright, everybody. Time to storm a prison. Same crew, why not? They really had to name it the Labyrinth, though, didn't they? <laughs> Just... Forego all the all the all subtlety and just go hard into the symbolism. Although that does look amazing. 
Like, seeing that art, imagine if there was a cutscene with it. Okay. Well, I guess nobody cares. The captain did right by a hole. Oh god, they're helping! Push on, Mardad! Awesome! I can feel it. You know what? Screw it. Let's help him out. Oh my god. No prisoner. Oh my god. Okay, I wasn't paying attention to my health. It's okay. <laughs> and we go right into another one. I suppose we can open fire as soon as we walk out since we got some help. But that's why I don't like scopes. It cuts off your peripheral vision and it just fucking sucks. The board will never own guard Not while I breathe. Push on, Mardad. And we'll just keep moving. Steal some of their ammo for good measure. Okay, she probably just switch to this. Since it uses the same ammo type. Thanks, Ellie. Yeah, who cares about the board reputation being decreased? Alright, we're good to go, everyone. Loneliest place in the whole system. Oh, it most certainly is. Not for long, though. We've got they've got company. Heard right, everybody on your toes. It's nice of them to leave us a few options. A few options? What? Here we go. Remember, your needs have been provided for. Why can I not get up here? Was smooth. We're 
are also very good on health right now. Let's see, is there anything we can sell? Yeah, we're, we're kind of low on bits. That's okay. Transition to the pit. Okay. Right, both of you in quickly, quickly. Close. so I can't hack anything to open up stuff or cause some chaos, which is unfortunate. Going over there. And off we go. Troops, stellar base counting on us. Ora bastardi! like three troops didn't hear the gunshots outside or did they just decide to not care Circumvent some of this. Quickly. What was that? You knew here. I didn't think we were hiring more staff. Uh, was hired to test your security uh, procedures. Congratulations, you passed. Are you talking while on shift? Oh, no. Don't tell anyone, please. Thank you. Not a problem, buddy. All right, everybody in. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Look who it is. I'll be damned. I was prepping the studio for our announcement, and here you are as a bonus. I had heard you'd taken a mechanic under your wing. What's the matter, girl? Couldn't find actual employment? The captain's treated me right. Better than any of you bored folk ever have. I'm exactly where I want to be. Ah, and the wayward doctor. Are you about done with your escapades? We have faces that need lifting, after all. These days, I'm more interested in breaking them. Wouldn't mind taking a swing at yours. 
When you go off and get yourself shot, try to avoid taking one to the face. I'll want it recognizable to show to my citizens. Chairman Rockwell, I presume. Uh, what's this announcement? Get out of my way, Rockwell. I'm not in your way, you dullard. You talk to me. You want to go die in a blaze of glory? Be my guest. Besides, I don't know what you think you're doing here, but Sophia's doing good work up there with Phineas. Your efforts will be in vain. Phineas would rather die than cooperate. That rotten bastard. Yes, he is an extraordinarily obstinate fellow, isn't he? Fine, he isn't working for us per se. Semantics, he'll come around. But that's between us. As far as my adoring citizens will know, we've turned a dangerous crackpot into a working class man. It's a miracle. That crackpot is saving the frozen uh, colonists you gave up on. Oh yes, go on, wake them up, add more mouths to feed. That'll solve our starvation problems. I don't know what half-baked plans that simpleton in a lab coat has been leading you through, but it's done. It's over. I doubt it. Let me ask you something, Captain. Have you at any point thought about not fucking up our entire society? At least that means someone's recognizing our work. <laughs> I'm making actual progress towards stabilization and recovery. You're just getting in the way. Uh... You know, I wouldn't have to if you'd be more cooperative about all this. I, uh, you know, the thought honestly hadn't crossed my mind. I'm just trying to help. Uh, you'd prefer to keep riding the downward spiral. I can fix this place. If I and my people can ride it out in luxury and happiness, yes, yes, I would. I don't know if you've noticed, Captain, but Halcyon's pretty much a lost cause. Uh, I've already railed Byzantium against, uh, rallied Byzantium against you. It's only a matter of time. I'm going to get, uh, your administration's cooperation one way or another. With your resources and some of the folks on the Hope, we can do a lot. It's just business, Rockwell. Your resources and our gumption, uh, we could do so much. Are a captain of action. I'll give you that. Look, I'm not an unreasonable man. If you manage to storm the castle, as it were, and make it out of here with Phineas alive, uh, I can't exactly afford more havoc than you've already caused. Fine. If you survive, you'll need someone to sell the rest of the board on your plan. Good. Maybe, uh, maybe some good can come out of this. Right, just wait here for my orders. You're damn right I will. And I, uh, otherwise, I'm coming for you next. Excellent! Don't cause any fucking problems. Just can't no shit. Okay. Here we go. rest of my coalition running through the halls. The funny thing about it is, he's in command, All right, basically. NSI. I'm not one for rousing speeches, but the captain needs our help. So get in there and fight! You got a blasted lab coat. Fugitive's a fugitive. Let it go. Waste company Here we go, come on. The Messiah's on our backs. Okay. Yeah, 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 board reputation decreased. I know. I don't care. Oh, 
We clear? We're clear. All right, everybody up. Hope you're right about this, Captain. We got it. Captain, you have an uncanny talent for complicating my life. Words cannot express the extent of my disappointment. We had a plan. All you had to do was skip the hope to Tartarus, as I asked. You've disrupted the balance of power. You've upset the natural order of things. You've introduced uncertainty, and there is nothing I despise more than uncertainty. It's over Sophia, stand down. We're liberating Helcyon, and not a damn thing you can do to stop us. You sure love talking. <laughs> do they pay by the word? Oh my god. Do you imagine you're leading some grand revolutionary army? That's what's happening. The iconoclasts and MSI have put aside their differences and attacked the prison together. I never imagined such a thing would be possible. But here we are. You're nothing but a rabble rouser. I'm going to put an end to your little rebellion. And then I'm going to have you and your associates arrested. The board is the only legitimate power in Halcyon. We are Halcyon. I admit I miscalculated the extent of your influence. The board's plan never accounted for you. This is a mistake I intend to correct. I have Dr. Wells in my custody. Once I've secured his cooperation, I can move forward with the program. I can repair the damage you've done. I can set things right. Yeah, sure, definitely. Let's talk about this. Don't test me, Sophia. It's bad for your health. Uh, you don't understand. Phineas is my friend. I'm not leaving without him. Uh, I don't enjoy the thought of killing you. Uh, there's always been so, already been so much violence already. I'm aware of your propensity for violence. Halcyon is a bloodier place because of you. I take no pleasure in this, you know. I simply have no other option. Leaving you alive is too great a risk. Goodbye, Captain. I had a feeling you'd say that. This prison is equipped with an auto-mechanical warden. I've had it programmed to eliminate you on site and rinse your remains down a drain. And don't worry. I will inform Dr. Wells that you died heroically or something. All right. Let's put this thing down. is rain. There we go. See, 
See what I did to your little toy, Sophia? I'm about to do the same thing to your head. Hey Phineas, how you doing buddy? You don't know how glad I am to see you. You did the right thing. Akande was a monster. Her death was much deserved and long overdue. And you, you lunatic, you broke into the board's own fortress just to rescue one doddering old man. You are absolutely out of your mind, and I can't begin to thank you enough. Are you all right? Are you kidding? The board never stood a chance against me. Uh, you know, I wouldn't let anything happen to you, Phineas. Do you have any idea how much trouble I went through to save you? Ah, all in a day's work for you, huh? You've broken the board's stranglehold on this colony, and you saved my life. But there's still so much we have yet to accomplish. You and I are going to have to work harder than ever to save Halcyon. I'm afraid the situation is far worse than any of us ever anticipated. I don't like the sound of that. Great, and I just uh, thought I'd pop open some drinks and celebrate. Really not in the mood for your theatrics. Earth has gone dark. We haven't received a single message in three years. Shit. There's been no communication, no signals, nothing. Two years ago, the Earth's Directorate's frigate disappeared on their way back to Earth. We don't know what they discovered when they arrived, or if they arrived at all. They haven't exactly been hands-on around here anyway. So there's one less rubber stamp to worry about. Earth is humanity's home planet, Miss Fenhill. The psychological effects of losing our original home will be... Devastating. You mean... We're all alone out here? Really alone? I'm afraid so, Miss Holcomb. Halcyon is the only home we have left. Returning to Earth is no longer an option. We're in serious trouble, my friend. Do you know what this means for Halcyon? We can't rely on Earth for support anymore. We've been cut loose. We're entirely on our own. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Let's get started. Yes, yes, certainly. I'll help however I can. So, who... What do you think happened? I don't know what happened, but something must have gone horribly wrong. I don't know why Earth's gone silent. I don't even know if Earth exists anymore. We have no connection back to Earth, and return is likely impossible. We're completely alone out here. I heard it from Akande herself. She tried to pressure me into joining her side, you see. Tried to make me realize that all hope is lost, and that we are alone. She was half right. We are alone, and we're going to have to fend for ourselves, because there's no telling what's happened to Earth. Right, we can figure that out later. You might have heard of the Earth Directorate's frigate. Half the colony's entire military was on that ship. They were returning to Earth when they vanished without a trace. That was two years ago. We haven't heard a word from them since. Whatever happened to Earth likely happened to them. Yes, Akande mentioned as much. Earth hasn't sent us a single message in three years. No one knows why. Akande had kept the truth to herself, perhaps with good reason. Can you imagine what would have happened if word got out? We'd have utter pandemonium. Right. I wasn't trying to hide the truth from you, but after all you've done, I owe you an explanation. Yes, I experimented on the Hope's colonists. Each of my experiments ended in catastrophic failure. Each of my subjects died in agony. 
You are my first and only success. I didn't tell you about the others because I didn't want to burden you. My failures are my own to bear, not yours. Thank you. Perhaps in time I'll learn to forgive myself. My apologies. I need to get a hold of myself. We've far more pressing issues to worry about right now. If you have any more questions, ask me. I'll answer as best I can. Nothing more. Let's get to work. Yes, we do. You've done a marvelous thing. You've succeeded where anyone else would have failed, including me. We must begin the revival process immediately, starting with the hopes of brightest minds, and then we're going to fix this damn colony one problem at a time. We're going to need a leader, and I can't imagine a better person for the job than you. What do you say, old friend? Will you help us? I've got plans with the chairman in my pocket. No one is going to know I'm running the colony. Shit, shit. When I revived you, I thought you were going to help me save this colony. I was wrong. I had our roles reversed, you see. You're the one who's going to save us all. I'm just the one who set you on your path. You're the best thing to ever happen to Halcyon. If you want to take it upon yourself to lead this colony, you have my support. We're not a colony any longer, are we? Our last connection to Earth has been severed, and so we have been set free. Our future is uncertain, and no one knows what tomorrow holds. Exciting, isn't it? The OSI teaches that everything in the universe happens according to the grand plan. But the stranger that arrived in Halcyon was an unplanned variable. From the moment he landed in Emerald Vale, his actions altered the course of history. The events on Tartarus brought about the end of the board's authority. But the board's mistakes would haunt the colony for decades to come. The damage they left behind would require the work of a generation to repair. Dr. Phineas Wells began reviving a handful of the Hope's colonists. Engineers, scientists, technicians, and intellectuals. They were among the brightest minds the Earth had ever sent out into the stars. The Hope scientists and engineers woke up in a colony descending headlong into total collapse. With no way to return to Earth, they had no choice but to band together and devote themselves to the cause of saving Halcyon. The people of Halcyon were nothing if not hardy. In the absence of the board's authority, many of the colony's settlements banded together with a single purpose in mind, survival. Life was especially hard in the years to come. Some towns dissolved by attrition and starvation, but most of them found a way to carry on. In the years to come, Halcyon was forced to reckon with its newfound freedom. The board was gone, and for better or worse, the colony was responsible for its own destiny. Between MSI's worker-centric policies and the iconoclast manpower, Sanjar and Zora were able to rally many of the Terra 2 townships to their cause. MSI's workforce swelled, and the iconoclasts enjoyed a significant surge in their ranks. The board was too distracted by infighting and internal politics to stop MSI from becoming a powerful corporation and a refuge for townships that might have fallen through the cracks. Consumed by paranoia, Lilia Hagen took Sublight Salvage in a controversial direction, openly accusing board officials of an extraterrestrial conspiracy. One day, an accident at the Groundbreakers' docking bay silenced her forever. Time would tell if her replacement could keep the Sublight family together. After returning to Edgewater, the deserters negotiated workplace reforms with Reed Dobson, including a single day of rest, which came to be known as a weekend. As the world around him changed, Dobson found himself pining for the old days. He was known to spend his weekends in the cantina, 
nursing one of the few remaining bottles of Zero G and repeating to himself, it's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. As for Adelaide McDevitt, she tended to her garden in solitude for another year before passing away. Her body was discovered some months later when Reed Thompson paid her a visit in an effort to make amends. Her remains were buried in a place of honor underneath the floor of the Edgewater Cannery. Reed believed this was what she always wanted. Under the leadership of June Lay Tennyson, the groundbreaker held firm against corporate influence. The ship's mechanical stability gave June Lay the time to educate a promising generation of engineers schooled in her family's traditions. The future of the groundbreaker looks promising. The rediscovery of the hope and the abandonment of the lifetime employment program forced Byzantium to come to terms with some uncomfortable realities about the state of Halcyon. While Byzantines were reluctant to surrender the luxuries they'd grown accustomed to, the board's diminished authority gave them little choice in the matter. Nearly everyone had to learn to make do with less. Some even had to get jobs. It was a dark time indeed. Even the Gorgon asteroid, though a distant enigma to most of Halcyon, felt the aftershocks of your actions. The destroyed Adrena Time synthesizer became a symbol of the board's cruelty and a rallying point for Wells and his scientists as they sought to build a more humane, ethical Halcyon. They cleared the dead from Gorgon's laboratories and repurposed them to aid in the crucial work of solving the colony's nutrition crisis. Gorgon, which had once sown death and destruction across Halcyon, became a source of hope and renewal. The Gorgon Project's final explosive end was bittersweet for Olivia Ambrose. She wandered the colony's fringes alone, searching for others like her who despised the board and meant to destroy them. In time, she found Phineas Wells and his cadre of scientists, and she joined them in their efforts to save Halcyon. For a while, she even knew an uneasy peace. But for all that, Olivia found purpose in Wells' project. She was always haunted by the memory of her daughter, Minnie, who hadn't lived to see the better world they were building. She never did forgive herself for the horror her work had wrought on Halcyon. But she remembered fondly the daring captain who put an end to it at last. In spite of everything, the Gorgon asteroid remained a sobering reminder of the potential for progress and disaster in humanity's most ambitious efforts. Your influence shifted Ellie's perspective. She finally admitted, albeit grudgingly, that she just might need other people, sometimes. With a steady income from the life insurance payouts, she was finally able to afford a ship of her own. She hired a small crew and flew supply missions to communities on the fringe. Some of them were even legal. Life in Halcyon was sobering for Felix Melstone. The grand revolution he dreamed of never came. There was no great awakening for the colony, no celebrations in the streets. There was only the hard, desperate work of trying to repair a broken colony. Felix never had a head for numbers, but if there was labor to be done, he was there to help. Eventually, Felix realized that the work of a revolution was done with two hands. As much as he enjoyed his adventures aboard the Unreliable, the vicar, known as Max, eventually decided that it was time to move on, to live out the life he had sought so long to create. He knew there were many in the colony who carried burdens much worse than the ones he had struggled with and he devoted himself to easing their suffering wherever he could. He only ever took up arms again to defend the defenseless. Unshackled from a lifetime of striving and fighting the universe and himself, Vicar Maximilian de Soto was finally at peace. Once the matter with the Hope colonists was resolved, June Lay bashfully asked Parvati if she'd like to join her permanently on the groundbreaker. 
and Parvati enthusiastically, if somewhat awkwardly, agreed. The stories of her adventures spread across the colony, and Parvati soon found herself the center of attention. Having served as the engineer of a renowned spacecraft, tramp freighters and wildcat miners sought her out by name. And in no time, she was a fixture in the Groundbreaker's mechanical ecosystem. She and Jun Lei were never far apart. Nioka returned to Monarch to take another crack at making a permanent life for herself. She formed the Caron Group, a mercenary outfit of ragtag survivalists and wilderness experts. Anyone in need of a guide or just looking to throw back a beer and swap stories could find her camping on the trail or clearing an infestation. The SAM unit that accompanied you spread awareness of the product line's superior sanitation and maintenance capabilities across what was left of the colony. This led to a boost in SAM unit sales. Did you know that SAM units are the longest lasting, toughest acting cleaning solution in Halcyon? Minister Clark was released from house arrest and his contact with you gave him a sense of renewed purpose and vigor. Once it became clear that no help would be coming from Earth, he threw his considerable efforts and talents into helping Halcyon manage the crisis before it. Chairman Rockwell served as the public face for the changes in Halcyon to come. Whenever you needed strings pulled or a voice to sell a policy change, Rockwell was only too happy to oblige. As for Dr. Phineas Wells, he spent his remaining years in his orbital lab. He eventually came to terms with his own past and was able to forgive the mistakes of his younger self by devoting his remaining years to serving the colony. In the end, Dr. Wells was able to save every scientist and engineer aboard the Hope. Over the next decade, nearly all of the Hope's remaining colonists were successfully revived. Halcyon saw a period of rapid technological and scientific advancement. Breakthroughs in dietary supplements saved the colony from starvation. Geoengineering projects and social reforms began to change the structure and character of the colony. Dr. Wells laid the groundwork for the project to save the colony, but he would never live to see the fruits of his labor. He passed away a few years later. His work was carried on by the scientists and engineers he revived. Today, Halcyon has stabilized. The people of the colony work hard to adapt to their new circumstances. Nearby colonies send aid and supplies. Life will never be easy in Halcyon. But for the first time in its history, there exists a sense of real, genuine hope about the future. And what about you, the unplanned variable in the history of Halcyon? Long after Wells passed away, you carried on his work with more energy, determination, and brilliance than he could ever muster. The years that followed were hard, but Halcyon survived by the efforts of the Hope's most promising colonists, the greatest of which was you. No one knows what's happened to Earth, and no one knows what the future has in store for Halcyon. All we know for certain is this, the name of the unreliable and that of its intrepid captain will remain the subject of countless stories for years to come. All right, well, that's the Outer Worlds, everybody. All's quiet in Halcyon for right now. It was a hell of a ride and a hell of a funny ride, too. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll be posting posting a, a, a poll somewhere, somehow, for what game we'll play next after this. But I thank you so very much for watching. If you're all watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, all that to help me out, because I enjoyed having you and I want you to stay. On Twitch, if you haven't already, drop me a follow. Trying to still become an affiliate, so hey, help me out. And I will see you all next time.